Hey guys, how's it going? It's Armando here. I'm back from the Castle Shave Company. Uh, today I'm just trying to do, I really don't need a shave, but because my little one pissed on me, I had to take another shower. So I figured, hey, why not? Let's knock out a shave for tomorrow's busy day. Anyways, so I got a couple stars of the show and a couple things I want to talk about. We have my 6 eighths Waiting Butcher. Okay, this one is actually really beautiful because she's got a very thick spine. Awesome. Um, this is the only one of my razors that shaves very similar to my 9 8 Now, because I only have probably a day of growth, I think I just posted my shave of the day on Sunday. Um, um, I need something extremely sharp so that way I don't get any irritation and the razor glides through nice and smoothly. So I'm going to be using this one that holds an amazing edge. Um, today I'm using Martin DeCondre Rose and I'm pairing that up with Bear Sir and Man's Lavender. For my brush. In my trusted bowl, we are going to be using my Brad Sears Custom. Look at that lather. Um, got the Castle Shave Bowl going over here. Um, one thing I really love about Martin DeCondre is it's got to be the absolute easiest soap to lather. You can take a couple spins and this thing's already a cloud. So you really don't have to worry about that. Forgot to mention... I already got my trusted pre-shave on, Parasa White, love this stuff, really swear by it. It's a great pre-shave, especially for the money. I mean, it's only 13 bucks, so, and that's Canadian. So if you're in the States, probably six, probably even less. Anyways, let's get this show on the road. So there's a couple things that uh, I wanted to talk about. Um, number one being the... Uh, CWS Wet Shave Meat is confirmed for November 4th. So if you are Canadian or if you're simply living in Toronto and want to know more, come and meet us. Um, a location has not been set yet, but I'm sure that I will post another shave video informing you of where to be and when to be. Now this is just a meet and greet. So whoever comes, I'm assuming will be able to handle their own bills. Come if you like. If not, no worries. Catch us on the CWS website on Facebook. Now, one thing I like about this brush is that it's really starting to open up. So the way it's actually acting is becoming really nice. Oh, there goes a cannonball. <laughs> Anyways. Depending on the soap, now I used this with um, with a &E Gretchen horse last Thursday. Oh my God, you know what? I haven't gotten a shave like that in a while. And you know, sometimes you get those really awesome shaves and then sometimes you get those really shitty ones. Like on Sunday, I was using Henry and Victoria and the lather ran out on me had that happen to me before you know where you have to re-lather and it's like that wasn't enough I usually have too much and you know you're sitting there for like half an hour trying to wash it out of the brush you know and I only spin the brush five times in the bowl sorry not in the bowl in the tub this one just boats right up instantly. It's amazing how Martin DeCadre works. I believe it's a vegan soap as well, but I don't know because I've never really researched anything. What sparked me to do this is I actually just won a raffle and won the original, which I'm really excited for because the original is actually what made me get Martin DeCadre to begin with. I ended up getting a deal on the rose, and that's why I took it. Otherwise, let's be honest, I'm not spending a hundred bucks for a tub of soap. You know, 
It's a little much. Not, uh, nothing against modern economy, but, and I know in Europe, it's not that much, but by the time it gets here, customs, shipping, the States got a little bit better because they don't pay shipping until the amount exceeds $800. So they can literally buy anything they want within their means and not have to worry about customs on it, which is great. Cause that means you guys can shop at my store. <laughs> Anyways. So let's get this show on the road. Another big thing that's been happening lately is the um, Halloween release for the Holy Black has officially set a date on its release, which is awesome. Yay, another overpriced soap for everyone to fight over. Um, but yeah. I'm assuming that thing's going to hit for 200 US dollars. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of stuff in there that's like really nice. Considering you get two EDTs, two aftershaves, and the whole works. You know, two tubs of soap in the one soap, but that soap container, truthfully and all honestly, it only looks like it holds about four or five ounces. It's the same uh, tub from Tangerine Creeper or Lavender Creeper. So, I mean, if that's your thing, I don't know. It's got me wondering because I thought they were going to come out with like, I thought they were going to come out with like um, the one from Telltale Heart, which is much bigger. Because everyone was saying, oh, it's going to, it's going to outdo, um, Telltale hard and this and that. I guess, I mean, if you really want to consider the, the product itself. If you want to consider the product itself, sure. Maybe it does go above and beyond the Telltale hard set. But in my opinion... It's gonna take a lot of work for you guys to beat the aesthetics part of Telltale Heart. And I mean, let's be honest, that's what I wanted it for. It's a great set and all. It performs great, lathers up excellently. Um, but if it was in If it was in a regular bottle, I'm sorry guys, I wouldn't have bought it. Uh, just uh, not exciting enough for me in terms of, you know, in terms of uh, the packaging, if it was to be the same. Um, I'm still gonna go for the Holy Black um, new release, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's just, uh, I'm really curious about it. You know, the two EDTs, the two aftershaves, and the, inevitably, it's one soap with two different, uh, with two different cropes in it. So, basically, you know, it's, an, it's impossible not to lather them both at the same time unless you switch a brush on just one side, right? If they had done... Two different containers still doesn't make sense because then you wouldn't be able to mix the two. You would have to use only one at a time, right? Because you're not going to have a pre-lathered brush and switch it to the next tub. I think I need water. I don't know if it's the brush acting up on me or if it's the soap acting up on me, but I'm getting a little cheese with my application right now. It's going on extra thin and I'm not too happy about it to be totally honest. And I think it's just me trying to rush things, but 
or it could be the fact that I have no facial hair right now, like very minimal, um, whatever it is. I don't mind going back to this tub and uh, taking a couple more swirls because this is not what I expect from Martin DeCondre. He used this before and it was fine. So considering I've had the similar experience with with uh, Henry and Victoria, and now I'm having it with Martin DeCondre, which is stupidly expensive, and I know it performs amazing. I think this is a simple, either it's a battle between me and my brush, or it's a battle between my technique on lathering which is surprising because this thing lathered up like incredibly fast and I'm assuming that it lathering up incredibly fast maybe it had been a little bit too premature I don't know I'm just coming up with excuses just to figure this shit out fuck it I don't give a fuck it's a fucking shave getting annoyed want everything to be perfect for you guys. Look at that shit. Cannonballs are falling everywhere. It's as if I was using a synthetic brush. Look at that, another one gone. It's okay. My wife's gonna kill me when she has to clean the bathroom. <laughs> I don't care. Should find those. I'll just play it off like I had no clue. I'm pretty sure all of us do that. I think we're starting to get somewhere, but it's still going on pretty thin. Brush is not splaying out too much today, so that could be another thing. I don't know. See? It's like it's like it's taking the suds off. So if you guys have any tips for me on that. Let me know because maybe I'm using my brush wrong. I did soak it just for maybe about a minute in uh, warm water, not hot water. Um, I'm gonna get this on the road because I think I've done enough beating my face up with this Brad Sears brush. Anyways, I'm going against the grain this time because I think I'm gonna stop at two passes. Oh yeah. I really love this razor because it just glides through. Just like goes right through everything. that you know one thing I love about stray razors is it doesn't matter how much growth you have you can shave every day if you really want to and another bonus part about it because I'm that type that you know I grow but I grow slow this right here. Oh yeah. I can practically hear my skin squeak. Now this might as well, right? I think I just nicked my ear there. I'm so curious, you know, I'm going to rewatch this video, hopefully, and see, and, um, see if this razor sings during the video. I mean, it's really awesome the way this razor works. She is a half hollow, but she shaves like an extra hollow. So it's like the best of both worlds. 
minimal flex. I personally don't like flex. Like my Thiers Zizard, I think I've told you guys before. I don't use them. And the only reason I say that is because I'm not a fan of that type of grind. That's just not my thing. I think I'm going for the third pass. I don't really know if I should beat this up a little bit more. I'm not really happy with the lather that I got right now. It's like my brush is dry. And my lather's not quick enough, so I'm gonna hit up the actual soap again. Like I literally had nothing in the bowl and I'm not used to that with uh, Martin de Condre. I'm, I'm really thinking that maybe this brush just hasn't broken in yet. And I thought it did because I really did get an excellent shave with this brush and the a &E Gretchen horse, which was all in all inspired by Brown man shaves, man. That guy could really do pretty good videos. Very encouraging. Never swears, I gotta give him that for credit. Good church guy. All right. So I think that should be good enough. If this is not good enough, I'm in trouble. Give me a sec, actually, I'm gonna wash my face off. And I'm gonna dry it just in case the moisture from the shower is affecting my lather when it's applied to my face. So. Now, you see how I lather up? When I finished lathering, I got a puff cloud coming out of my bowl, pouring out the sides. So, is it my lather? I don't know. I don't think so, to be totally honest, because I think I do a pretty good job of beating the soap up. Not one for face lathering, to be totally honest. I think this application is probably the best one. Maybe you just needed that extra little bit. I didn't load it heavy enough. Because now it's like a bat out of hell, you know? So thick and creamy. Kind of sounds disgusting when I say that. But for all you guys with a dirty mind, keep the covers to yourselves. Let's get this over and done with so I can let you guys go. Wait a butcher six eights, here we come. Across the green pass, because we already did the against. Look how clean that is. It's like a windshield wiper on my face. You know, it's kind of sad that I don't use this enough. You know, I got this thing with the bigger razors that, you know, I just get more enjoyment out of them. I think it's more because of the heft. I like the weight. The thing is with this one is it feels, it's got all the benefits of a six eights, but at the same token, it's also got the benefits of an 8.8 because it's got the weight, it's got the width, it's got the spine girth. And the balance is awesome. 
those are some of the things that I look into for a string razor. And you never know what you're getting until you're actually using it. Oh. And damn, can this one hone and hold an edge on a hone? It's just amazing. This is no tape on my hone. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but she, let me dry her off. No tape. You can barely even see it. And I know it's a full, it's a full um, blade width because if you look at this point right here, you can see that the shoulder, the blade actually extends past the shoulder. And that's one of the key things in knowing when there's not too much blade loss. Not a lot of these razors actually have that, that um, feature. And mainly because most of them are, you know, we're talking 120 to 100 and, uh, 180 years old on average, right? I think my oldest, my oldest razor is um, maybe 1830s, something like that. I could use some touch-ups. Can you hear that, eh? Thank God I use Martin DeCondre because the extra, the added residual slickness comes very well into handy when you have to do this. You don't want to be doing this with a razor, sorry, with a shaving cream that leaves um, dry residue behind. You want that good residual slickness, so that way if you do have to touch up, you know, go right ahead, enjoy. And that was a mediocre shave, but... A mediocre shave, but you know, like I said, I did not have the growth to begin with. The only reason I'm shaving is because I got fucking pissed on. Excuse my French. Yeah, it's convenient because Martin DeCondre is a French soap. <laughs> Now the trimming, it's a lot harder doing it in this camera. Let's go this way. Oh yeah. See, it's another advantage to when your blades are extremely sharp. You don't have to worry about nicking yourself or going against the grain on the mustache area. You know, this is the one part of my face that for some reason just grows the fastest. All right, buddy, buddy, buddy. That's all, folks. I'm gonna clean this all up. Ugh. Oh yeah, mustache area came out amazing. Anyways. Here we go. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah, that's clean. 
Squeaky. Anyways. So, for Barrister and Man, we want to apply this splash. Get that burn going. Do that Home Alone scene. Yeah, no, that's weird. Perfect. That was a, uh, aside from the soap, just the razor, great. Soap, not quite happy. But be sure that I will be doing a redemption shave with Martin DeCondre because I am not happy. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Have a great week. Hope it's prosperous. Hope you guys are making money. And hope to see you on the CWS website, SRP website, DFS, whatever the hell you're into. Hit me up, Castle Shave. Like and subscribe.